Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about the changes at linebacker. Um, that this, We discussed this earlier in the week. It was uh, Leighton Van Der Esch, you know, saying that he was going to move over to linebacker. And now, what does the future hold for Jalen Smith? This is serious. Crap, more time. Boom, let's get into it. Here we go. What is the future of Jalen Smith here with LVE, you know, hinting that he's going to be that middle linebacker, that green dot is going to move over from Jalen Smith over to Leighton Vanderer. So what does that mean for his future? Okay. Is it a demotion? What, what, how is this being interpreted by people? For me, it's not that. For me, like I said, um, in my previous live stream, this is more of an evaluation from this coaching staff, in particular, Mike Nolan. He has the defensive coordinator title and he has a lot of experience as a linebacker coach in this league and successful with Jalen Smith we know the story a really really solid athlete you know going all the way back to his high school years this this guy was all over the place you know he played basketball he played uh obviously football he played linebacker outside linebacker in high school played a little bit of running back as well and track and field so this guy is just a, a supreme athlete as it is number seven and then rivals whenever he was recruited to notre dame number seven overall in the nation so pretty big deal there you know when he came into notre dame they brought him in here and started right out the bat here um in the mix as a freshman you know i've been following him throughout his entire career out of fort wayne indiana in that notre dame defense you know they ran a scheme a little bit of a hybrid they ran a 4-2-5 defense and you did see some uh, 4-3 traditional and a little bit of a mix of a 3-4 throughout his career. So he has a lot of experience in these types of hybrid formations. Uh, Notre Dame really kept their defense on the cutting edge when it came to really spicing it up and that kind of thing. And it really helped them keep him into the playoffs and this type of, and this type of thing. So with Jalen Smith, you know, there at Notre Dame, they used him really well. They, they really used his skill set, you know, and that was, you know, you can put him in there in the, in the 4 2 5. He'll be your middle linebacker, uh, but you can mix him up as an outside linebacker. And that's what the that's what Notre Dame did. You know, they brought him off the edge. A lot of speed. You know, he's not going to give you a bull rush. If, if Jalen Smith tries to do a bull rush, he'll get stifled. But it's the speed, the quickness, the recognition is really where he's able to really outmaneuver these big tackles. And we saw it in college, and you, you do see it now in the NFL as well. And that speed, he's got it back from the injury. We saw what happened there. But, you know, he's a two-time Butkus Award winner um, at the high school level and then again at the collegiate level, okay? Can he get it at the professional level? It's possible. Luke Keekley and um, Khalil Mack are really the ones that are getting a lot of the Butkus Award at the professional, at the NFL level. But Jalen Smith, one of the very few that has gotten it in high school and at the collegiate level, all over the place, you know, can line them up on the left, on the right, um, and he's able to make plays. And that's what he did at Notre Dame. And these are more of examples of Jalen Smith and of how he has this skill set, you know, to, to, to bring it into the Cowboys. And we did see a little bit of it under Marinelli and these guys were... Uh, they did, you know, blitz him here and there. But the fact that, you know, going back all the way from high school and at Notre Dame, he was, you know, more projected as an outside linebacker type of player with speed and everything. So with the Cowboys and Mike Nolan, I think that they're going to utilize that skill set. And that's why I'm excited about this. You know, at Notre Dame, like I said, they had those big guys up in the middle and allowed him to roam around and really hit those gaps, the A and B gaps with great ferocity and stuff some of these plays in the backfield tackles for losses and that sort of thing getting in the quarterback's face with hurries and you know all sorts of things so i'm really excited about what mike nolan and this defense is going to do with jalen smith i i, I we already know what they're going to do with leighton vanderish he can do the middle and you can put him anywhere and he's going to do well uh jalen smith is the same way but really they're going to uh they're really going to exploit his ability to to get to the quarterback so you know bringing the pass rush from all sorts of angles different formations that's what this defense is going to do under Mike Nolan we've seen Jalen Smith's career progress you know we know about the injury that he had there in the last game in the Fiesta Bowl 
and uh, we've, we've tracked his, his career ever since there, you know, and from 2017 when he first came to the league, you know, he, he was redshirted in 2016 when the Cowboys drafted him, but statistically speaking, you know, you look at the stats here and they're, they've gone up each season, 81, 121, 142. So sometimes when, when you, when the season ends and there's a bad taste in your mouth, there's a lot of finger pointing and people want to say, this guy overrated, Demarcus Lawrence overrated, Jalen Smith overrated these kinds of things but you got to take a step back and really look at uh, the numbers and what was going on you know so with Jalen Smith picking up the slack obviously last season with LVE out and um, yeah he made plays and he did you know miss some plays but you know that's expected with all these guys they're not perfect but for Jalen Smith moving forward I'm excited for him okay you guys should be too because He's not going to be a, more of your traditional sitting in the zone. He's going to going to he's going to attack. He's going to be in attack mode is what it is. They're going to take the the leash off of Jalen Smith is really what this is all about. You know, going back to Mike Nolan and what he did, going all the way back to 97, Ken Harvey. This is where Jalen Smith and Ken, I think he's a little bit like a Ken Harvey. You know, if you're an older school cat like myself, um, you remember Ken Harvey with the Cardinals and then again here with Washington. Mike Nolan had um, had him there in 97. He had a good career there and he, he had some sacks under his belt. In 2015, Mike Nolan was a linebacker coach there um, and defense coordinator with the Chargers and Melvin Ingram had 10 and a half sacks in 2015. So he knows what he, he knows how to utilize these skill sets is what I'm saying. Like a Ken Harvey, he's a linebacker, but he can pass rush. Melvin Ingram, he's a linebacker, but he can pass rush. In 2019 with the Saints, most recently, Demario Davis, he got an all pro nod. Okay, so let's not sleep on Mike Nolan and what he's able to do with this, uh, with these players. And if I'm Jalen Smith, I'm excited about this too. You know, you look at his, uh, Mike Nolan's resume, what he's done for these linebackers and uh, gotten them to, you know, statistical levels, all pro levels and pro bowlers and, you know, pretty good defensive units. So, um, it, it's a good place for Jalen Smith to be in right now with this new regime change and his skill set. I think it's a perfect marriage, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this, about, you know, the future of Jalen Smith here and how Mike Nolan is going to utilize his skill set on this team. I'm excited about it. You know, I am excited about Leighton Vanderish calling the plays there, middle linebacker, but the uh, the other domino of this is now you're going to have Jalen Smith really to roam more all over the place you know not really necessarily sitting in the zone obviously he can do that he can cover if you need him to but i think they're going to use him more in an attack mode all right and we got bigger in the middle so he's going to be able to hit those gaps with ferocity so i expect more plays for losses out of Jalen smith and more sacks okay given the opportunity but let me know what you guys think about this all right continue to like subscribe and share shout out to all my new subscribers and new members that have signed up for the membership i see you um the channel continues to grow and i can't do it without any of you guys you know members and subscribers so hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification for all future releases and live streams you know they will be coming here as training camp continues to progress but that's all i have right now guys i'll catch you for the next video peace everybody